Hello everyone, this is The Mind That Writes. Welcome to the first episode of Post Poetry, where I go over my poems in a bit more detail and I talk about how they came into existence, uh, what thoughts are behind them and Hopefully this way you will get a much clearer clearer picture of the mind that writes. I should say that my style of, of writing is is more in tune with my inner voice, so it's almost a sort of of a internal dialogue slash monologue. They are not edited, with the exception of you know grammatical errors and maybe changing a word if it's repeated too much and things things like this. The first poem. I will take a closer look at is a language no one speaks. I suggest that you read it or listen to it uh, yourself first. There are links in the description. And then, you know, we can come back. And once you form once you have formed your own opinions and thoughts, we can compare if if you're on the same page or whether I have been misunderstood. A flurry of a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand words under the sun of a brain that shines meaning the meaning straight down to the core. Dreaming of a time of two times free in a system where it's seven. <laughs> and this is weird. It's weird. I have written hundred thousand ten thousand words over ten years and they are under the influence of a brain my brain that shines meaning now this brain is oftentimes demeaning straight down to the core that's a, that's me saying that I am self-critical and so yes I'm, I'm, I'm very self-critical dreaming of a time this brain that has written that has orchestrated the body to write is dreaming of a time, a time, of two times, a time, two times, three in a system where it's seven. Now this is just a play on words, <clears throat> where I play with the attention of the reader or your attention. Two times three is six, obviously, but this brain of mine likes to think that it's sometimes seven. Now this system, where 2.3 equals seven, is a place that is inseparable from heaven. Sort of like place we all, all imagine but if it's not the place we all imagine that doesn't 
coincide with reality or hell it's either heaven up up there beautiful place or hell down below I can't tell is it a hello or a farewell that my lips ache to pronounce in the absence of me I renounce thought when I am not here this is metaphorically speaking obviously I renounce thinking thought when I am here in the presence of reality I have fought teeth and nail to speak a language no one does so in other words over a period of 10 years I have written a lot of words under the influence of a of a brain sun that shines meaning which is the meaning because I'm self-critical I have, did, I have done all this to speak a language no one does a dose of nicotine self-explanatory I like to smoke I'm a smoker a sprinkle of serene I just sprinkle a bit of serene I just sprinkle a bit of serene dust, let's say. Serendipity falls prey to pity. So this this brain that has been trying to speak a language that no one understands for the past 10 years, which fi finds itself miraculously or serendipitously or how, how is that word Serendip serendip serendipity fuck serendipity serendip serendipitous is that a word serendipitous yes serendipitous Occurring or discovered by chance in a happy or beneficial way. It falls down and it falls prey to pity. I pray to stop the abuse of a muse that does not exist. So this brain has been doing this for a long time falls onto its knees and it prays to stop the abuse of a muse which is not there <laughs> I hope I am not uh, confusing you more than I should I, I will stop here because I don't want to go like too much in depth and I don't think that there's too much interest in listening to me <clears throat> go on and on and on and explain everything but uh, this was the first episode of uh, post poetry uh, what <clears throat> how was how slash what was your first impression and is it similar to mine did you interpret it the way I did did you give the words different interpretation I'm very curious about your thoughts and your interpretation and I hope that you you enjoy this and hope you have a good day night morning wherever it is, wherever you are. See you next time. Bye.